Let's talk cells at work. Okay, so this episode was kind of interesting. I'm not entirely, sh it's, it sets up a bit of backstory for the two of the main characters, Red Blood Cell and White Blood Cell. And then it also introduces us to the main antagonist of the series. At least I think so. Um, so the episode basically starts off with Red Blood Cell, as usual, forgetting where she's supposed to go and wind, and actually winds up in her old Red Blood Marrow where she grew up. And act, and she, and it actually just shows what kind of red blood shells she was trying to be. And it actually shows when she was little, she was basically the exact same way she is now. And eventually she gets overwhelmed. And during a training exercise about running away from bacteria, she runs off, doubts whether or not she can actually become a red, a full fledged red blood cell. Or she, or she's going to remain a, ju a junior forever, and that's when she discovers that the red blood cells are also get stuff lost at all, a couple of times, as she's viewing this from the balcony. It's at this point where a real bacteria shows up and attacks her. And at first she thinks it's the white blood cell teacher because the white blood cell teacher ha was wearing a little puppet on his arm that looked exactly like the bacteria she comes across. And she runs off and is scared for her life when she realizes it's a real, real bacterium and is almost killed until she's cornered by it and she realizes she wants to grow up and become a red blood cell and be one of the best red blood cells in the world. So she basically, so she takes her hat off, throws it at the guy, and runs off. And it's at this point where we learn that Red Blood Cell and White Blood Cell also actually also grew up together and don't realize it. They they were when they were little kids, they don't they didn't really remember when they were little young cells. They didn't remember exactly what happened, and they don't remember each other's faces from so long ago. But they actually did save each other. She, had, the white blood cell actually did save her from it, and then the the actual white blood cell still showed up and cut him into pieces, cut the little bacterium into pieces. And then back in the present day, she after she's done reminiscing, she actually she actually runs into white blood cell, and starts to wonder whether or not it was actually the same white blood cell from so long ago, and she dismisses it because she thinks that would be too much of a coincidence. Which it is because we know that they are in, that they did in fact grow up together and are in fact in the same same boat. And shortly after shortly after this encounter, um, white blood cell sees an infected virus cell. I guess it's like a cell, but it's got like a whip for an arm, kind of sort of. And it's chasing after another guy, and white blood white blood cell and killer T cell take it out. And as they're talking about what it is, about what it is and what they think it is and where it came from, um, NK Cell jumps out from nowhere, lands on top of him, lands on top of Killer on Killer T, and s starts complaining about how she's been bored and had nothing to do and didn't have really any good landing. And Killer NK Cell is very aloof in this in this um anime she's ver she's a very aloof character she's not exactly she's very full of herself because she's a very powerful cell that's intended to take down cancer cells and infected cells and that kind of thing because that's what her primary function is and she and killer c so get into an argument because they because she act she actually smacks him in the face because he's because she's escorting a cell out of the place because he at, throughout this entire scene he's trying to tell them that there are more and that he's trying to warn them and tell them that they need to go to this location and find it and find them and kill them and they're all f and killer T cell and NK cell are fighting over him before before they eventually come to blows and we also see the platelets again they because they're in it for like five seconds but they uh, but 
Killer T-Cell walks up to them and asks for a bucket and then he pours it on NK-Cell's head and that's what causes them to start fighting. So, and then after this they go to a remote location and they all split up. And it's at this point where, we re where it's revealed that the escort cell is actually, well, we don't know. But given the title of the next episode, I'm assuming a cancer cell of some sort. Because because that's what it said in because that's what it said in the episode that's what it said the next episode would be and I'm looking forward to this so yeah definitely going to be a cool episode and I'm assuming this guy's going to be the major antagonist because well he's a can if he's a can if he's a cancer cell he's gonna be kind of hard to kill he's gonna he's I, I have a feeling he's just gonna keep popping up like like well cancer but he's yeah he's not he's not gonna he's gonna just keep cropping up um, and all that, so I don't think he's going to disappear anytime soon. He's going to be in the anime for quite a bit. He's going to serve as a major antagonist throughout the entire series. Or at least as a recurring antagonist. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode now, because if this guy is in fact a main antagonist like I'm predicting, then that, that just opens up a whole new can of worms, because... Because there's a... The immune system doesn't really handle cancer all too well. As I said, as I said, cancer spreads through the body because, and it's not technically an invading bacterium or an invading cell or any of that. It's technically bacteria. It's technically part of the human body, so there's not much that the immune system can do against it. But yeah, I'm looking forward to this, and I'm also happy to that we saw the platelets even for just a moment because they don't really get too much screen time lately. They got their own episode. I like that, but. I, I want to see more of them. They're cute. I like them. But either way, yeah, I am just wondering how this is going to play out. Because I don't think it's going to play out in the immune system's favor. But I do want to let know if you guys have seen this episode of Cells at Work. What did you guys think? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my Discord server. Link in the description. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, Hit that like and the subscribe button. I could always use a new addition to the Moon Rabbit Army. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.